Hey guys, it's me, British Rob Productions. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be driving this, the Great Northern Class 313, from was it Bowes Park to London King's Cross, calling it All Shacks. I am also joined today by our guest, Transport Hub One. Hello, everybody of the YouTube. It's me, your favourite YouTuber. Yeah. Apart from me. Anyway, so. Anyway, so, we are going to be having a bit of a conversation on this journey about the absolute farce that uh, Train Simulator have put themselves in currently uh, with uh, UK content. So, let's get straight into it. So, inside the cab of the Class 313, I've already set it up, so all we have to do basically is. Release the brake, well, put it into step two, and open the doors. Right, so we have got the right way from the guard. And we are away. Do apologise for Transport Hub One's shaking phone. Um, and, yeah, so and potentially the Hoover, the new Hoover, which sounds more like a uh, Rolls Royce. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed my last video. If you haven't watched it, you better go check it out if you like model railways. Um, yes. We are uh, nearly about, we're about to approach Alexandra Palace. To our left, we have Bounds Green Depot, which was built back in the uh, 1970s to allocate uh, HSTs. And is now one of the 91 depots on the East Coast Main Line. Yes, it is. Which partially sort of replaced Finsbury Park Depot, but yes. Three six five. We are now approaching Alexander Palace. If you are uh, LNER staff, get off here to uh, do some Class 91 driving. Do apologise if you can hear slamming doors. Um, Yeah, it's out of my control. Totally out of control. Totally out of my control, yes. That's turned into a complete and utter farce. It has, and we, we're, what, only a couple of minutes into the video. That stop will do. And we have arrived at Alexandra Palace. Palace. So, there we go, we've got the uh, right away from the yard. Loose break. No, not George Michael. So as I said earlier on, um, the conversation for this video is going to be about what the, the absolute farce about um, DTG's British content at the moment. Um, would you like to express your opinion on the uh, situation first, uh, 
transport hub? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, obviously, I, as you may know, uh, some of you, I know Transport Hub does. Um, I've been playing Train Simulator since 2013, so I am a bit of a veteran. Um, and sort of the content, if, if you did play Train Simulator back then, was uh, quite naff compared to how it is now. And since really last year, Train Simulator have been relying on uh, just trains to do routes and that. And those routes have been out for an awfully long time. So quite a lot of people have already got them. Not a good mark uh, marketing strategy. And um, we're just approaching Hornsey, um, so that is the problem with this particular run. The stations are so close, so I can't explain the situation. So, yes. I think we'll just stay recording, to be honest. Um, don't want to over on the platform. So, yes, yeah, so. The content is basically going back to how it was a few years ago, and. Obviously, just trains um, that mana pack. It actually looks quite nice, so um, I might get it if you have got it. Uh, tell me how it is, because it actually looks quite nice. Um, and then there was the class 89 pack. It looked okay, and then the cab was a bit off because the textures and that that's been sorted. But the sounds were the kuju sounds and. I don't like the Kuju sounds very much, and the actual sounds are a mixture between the 91 and the 86, which is not realistic. So that is the main reason why I'm not going to get that pack. So we have now arrived at Wormsy. Yep, all right. Ah, and, that, and for those people who like 365s, there you go. Ew. Ew, indeed. It's a 166 with a pentagraph. Um, so, yes. Basically, DTG, get your ass on the case. And then, obviously, yesterday, which was, was it the 4th of June? We're about to get the right away. So yes, so uh, thank you. Um, so obviously yesterday they released the HST, which looks nice even though the textures look a little bit crap um, and basically it's the TSW HST because quite a lot of the sounds are the same of the Mark 3s are a big disappointment because they've got the 91 Mark 4 sounds um, so that is a big disappointment and fortunately I think that's um, the things to come so uh, yes anyway that's my rant over uh, Transport Hub 1, would you like to um, say your part of the uh, situation that uh, TS is currently in? Yeah, I'm going to say something. going to have to speak up because... Uh, Sound better, 
Um, yep. I think I think what it sounds like is that maybe DGT is in competition with AP because why else would they put a new HST? It's clearly already been advanced into the game. Mm. I think that's a bit fishy. Um, and it's also a fact that why else? I think it's just that the sounds aren't really that accurate. No, because as uh, as Alan Thompson said, it sounded quite a lot like a crossover between a Valenta and M MTU, which is fair enough. But um, yeah, I think Train Simulator, because you you look at all the foreign stuff, and it looks really nice. But yet you turn to the British stuff, and it just looks really horrible. Yeah. Uh, I think that what they need to do is, of course, there's more European stuff in TSW than there's British stuff, and like that's not going to get the British and the, and the UK people to like the game, because obviously, like we need more British roots. We do. And more BR stuff. In more British trees, I know that we've got BR stuff, we've got uh, the Trans Pennine, the 47s and the 40s. Uh, we, we've got that, but what we need, what else do we need, is the fact that we need uh, probably uh, South, uh, I think it's South Wales Coastal, which is a nice one, maybe, maybe an extension. I'm included. As we're driving on right now. Off the, um, off the West Somerset, to be honest. Because that was yeah. pretty good. Yeah, I think... Is that... Yes, because... Some sets as well, but yeah. Well, yeah, but you know, it's different because the way that because somewhere like Dawlish is still on the coast, isn't it? Somerset yep. where the uh, the, uh, the uh, West Somerset Railway is, is not really on the coast. Well, it's just with, got with the exception of um, pretty much Willerton to uh, watch it, but uh, yeah, and obviously going down into Minehead, but. Transport Hub One has uh, Transport Hub One hasn't been on the West Somerset Railway yet. Well, I have. You've been on the West Somerset Railway. Yeah, I've been on the West Somerset Railway. 
been on it in TSW, but you haven't been on it in... Not my heart. Oh, have you? Yeah, not many times when I was young. Didn't know that. I've never... I told you. Did you? So the line's going off to the left, they go down to um, Moorgate, so if you want to, uh, if you like this video, essentially I could do one and we could have Transport Hub 1 back, um, we could do a is it Potter's Bar to something, I oh, know it wouldn't be Moorgate, um, the station where they change over the power, I can't remember what, I can't remember what it's called now. Um, and, and to our right, we have the site of what was originally the depot of Vincent Park. And we're now on the approach into uh, King's Cross. We have a mile and a half to go, or a mile and three quarters rather. So, yeah. But, I mean, trying simulator, to be honest, it is turning into um, what can only be destroyed. It is turning into a complete amount of farce, exactly. Um, and I think DTG, they obviously, fair enough, it's not just about Britain in the, um, in the models and that, it's obviously international as well. But the frequency of British stuff has gone down um, for releasing, and the quality. Because just trains, they're not renowned for being that good quality. I mean, I've got the Bristol to Exeter on one, which is absolutely shit. Um, and the quality is just basically the same. And DTG are just getting permission to release routes that have been out for donkey's years. When they should actually be making their own content. And I am I glad that I found on AP. I think I've got something trained similar to my own type of making for that route, so I've got a long time to make it and stuff, but I feel like what I need to do is aim to sweep it up a little bit. But I know that I fully get and understand, of course, like trace the labour is a game that isn't very realistic, realistic to graphic. I mean, I'd like to also um, support, um, obviously we're coming into King's Cross, so we haven't really got um, much longer left in this video, but something that really bugs me is, and I'm supporting the case of Armstrong Powerhouse here, the people that are saying, oh well the, um, the lucky pack is incorrect, it's not accurate. The 313 pack that I'm driving right now isn't accurate. Nothing can be made perfect. The RSC one because I remember when that was new, but yeah, 
but I think if it wasn't for Armstrong Powerhouse, TS would probably, you know, not many people would be playing it. Not mm. many train enthusiasts would be playing it if it wasn't for Armstrong Powerhouse. That's, that's, not, that's nothing against Dovetail at all, because obviously Dovetail do. They, they, they make they make they, they make they make that that actual stuff is good, and don't yes. get me wrong. I mean, with the Steam side on the British stuff, you know, Victory Works and that they're good because I've got quite a few of their bits and pieces. But it's just a big letdown. I'm not, that... saying, I'm not saying anything against Dovetail because obviously they've got great, great content creators as well. But of course, it's just a letdown with the side of TSW, as I think you were going to say, because there's not a lot. Stuff. <laughs> it's nearly all European, but yeah, okay. People from around the world would play this game, hence why it's got world in the end of it. Yes. Um, so it's it's a game for everyone around the world. But I think what they need to do is, like, what I would say is, break it down, break the countries down, and think, yeah. and ask the public from that country and go, right, what do you want? In the game. Mm, yeah. How I vote about the most popular route, popular loco, and then boom, and then you can release something from each country. Exactly. But then because it's, because it's the UK creators, yeah. I think it should be more based around the UK because obviously they're UK creators. Because mm. I'm not dangling wrong, if it was another game that was made in, the, let's say, uh, Canada or America. It will be all you. It'll be all America stuff, and there'll be little limited UK stuff, and there'll be limited stuff from other countries. Yes. Um. So th thank there's you very no much. To other countries, and it's no different to the UK. So thank you very much for that. Um. That was Transport Hub One. Um. Yes. So we have now. Uh, we've been waiting for a minute. Um. So I had to pause the game. Um. So thank you very much for your points. I'm sure. Um. People will agree with them. I agree with them. Um. Some people won't agree with them, but. You're entitled to your own opinion. Um, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. This has been British Rob Productions. Please subscribe. Get Armstrong Powerhouse stuff. If you haven't got Train Simulator, get Train Simulator. No paid promotion. That's a shame. Sad face. Um, get the AP stuff. 313 pack is very good. Please subscribe. Like, share, comment. Also, head over to Transport Hub 1. He does... Yeah. Very good stuff, and you also have a Twitch channel. Yes. Which is called. It's called. Zen Trends. Zen Trends. So, thank you very much for watching. This has been British Rob Productions. Like, comment, subscribe. As I may have said, subscribe to Transport Hub 1, and we'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Ta ra.